Shane Dawson just dropped part one of his eight part series, The Mind of Jake Paul. And in this review and reaction, we're gonna talk about the main focus of this, which is, is Jake Paul fake or is he a sociopath? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about trying to help you improve your mental health. Whether it's depression or anxiety or just being in bad relationships, whether with significant others or friends, like my channel is all about helping you. So sometimes what I like to do, I like to pull from what's going on in the community to try to help you learn how to improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because because I make a ton of videos and I will be recapping pretty much all of these videos when it comes to the mind of Jake Paul. So if you haven't watched it yet, there's gotta be some spoilers, but I'm assuming if you're here, you've already watched it. So I've been interested in this. Shane Dawson is a YouTuber who I was introduced to by my girlfriend and I've been following him, you know, for, I don't know, the last year or so. And I really love these documentary series. And so <clears throat> I just got done watching it and there's so many topics I can cover. Like I was, streaming on my Twitch channel and watching it and taking down a bunch of notes. So there's a few different topics I can touch on. I might make multiple videos. If any of you have suggestions on things you want me to talk about mental health wise, make sure you leave them down in the comments. All right, but basically what Shane wants to do with this is he wants to find out if Jake Paul is a sociopath. Like I can really relate to Shane Dawson, like in the sense that he's intrigued by this like mental health aspect of it, right? Like that's one of the reasons why I do so much reading and research and make these videos to try to help educate other people. So he really wants to find out and something that's very interesting that he touched on and it's something that I've asked myself about a, a wide range of careers is like, do you have to have something a little bit kooky going on to be in a certain field like a YouTuber? The, the one thing I'll say about that for now is I think it depends on the YouTuber. Like, YouTubers who are like vlogging and stuff like that, like, yeah, there might be some like narcissistic traits within those types of people. Like, people who just crave this attention and all these other things. Like, there's certain YouTubers, but I don't think it's a good like blanket statement because there's people like me, for example, or a bunch of the other mental health YouTubers who I'm friends with, where we're just trying to go out there and help people. You know what I mean? So I don't think it's a good blanket statement, but it is fascinating to kind of look at different people and say, okay, what's going on with this person and why, the, why do they do that? So anyways, Shane Dawson, um, he's gonna be doing quite a few collabs throughout this uh, process. Uh, in uh, the first part, he did one with iNabber, who is somebody that I just recently started watching um, a little bit, like, and I think it's, you know, he does a really good job when it comes to like the quote unquote drama going on. He's pretty level-headed, and he just did a great video about H3H3 and depression and stuff like that. I think he watched my video on it, but I'm not sure. He touched on a lot of the same points. But anyways, this first one um, was with iNabber, but soon he's going to be doing uh, a video with Katie Morton. I'm not sure which part that's gonna be in, but Katie Morton, for those of you who don't know, she's a, a, a licensed marriage and family therapist here on YouTube. She has like 400,000 subscribers, probably gonna blow up after this collab. But anyways, Shane wants to talk to her about you know, is Jake Paul a sociopath or are other YouTubers sociopaths and things like that. So I guess what we'll do or what I wanted to do is like, what is a sociopath? So I, I wanna talk about like the seven common traits why am I holding up three fingers? The seven common traits of a sociopath. It's so important to know these things because if you wanna keep your mental health like in a good place, you need to acknowledge or be educated about what a sociopath actually is. You know what I mean? Like, so that way you can cut off certain relationships and all that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna touch on why Jake is able to do what he does if he is in fact a sociopath, all right? So, sign number one. This person has lots of friends, okay? These are people who are around the person, the sociopath, but they're never gonna grow like a strong relationship and they come and go. And this is something that we see a lot with Team 10 and Jake Paul. Like his close friends are never around that long because he doesn't develop those types of connections with people. Sign number two, a lot of manipulation, okay? and. I don't know, when it comes to Jake Paul, we're gonna see it later on in this series, like when we learn, you know, more truth about him and stuff. But like, Shane touched on a good point. Like, 
Shane might walk out of this thing getting manipulated and he won't even, you know, like, will he know? Like, and that's the thing about sociopaths is that they will learn and, and, and do and say the things that you want to see or the things that you want to hear in order to manipulate you. They're very, very good at what they do. Like I was cracking up, like Shane, uh, like edited in like clips of like uh, American Psycho and I'm like, I don't know if I would go that far, but that's the thing. Like they try to blend in with other people and they're, they're really just trying to manipulate you um, either for, you know, their own gains or like um, certain, you know, emotions that they can get from you, like love or affection or attention or whatever the case may be. So sign number three is narcissism, okay? So they'll have narcissistic traits, all right? They're, they're the greatest, they're the best, everything's about them, they need the attention and all that kind of stuff. I have an entire video about narcissistic personality disorder. I'll link it up in the info card above. So if you wanna check it out and see if there's similarities between narcissistic personality disorder and Mr. Jake Paul. A big sign is, is sign number four, and that's emotional detachment, okay? Like, they don't feel bad when they do these things. Like, so Jake Paul has had a ton of controversy, so I don't follow the Paul brothers, like, at all all, at all, at all, at all. I think, you know, I, I obviously knew of them and heard about them and things like that, but I really heard of Logan Paul after the whole thing in Japan and, and all that stuff, but not as much about Jake Paul as I did, you know, uh, I learned more about Jake Paul in this video than I ever knew about Jake Paul, all right? So this emotional detachment, like why do people keep doing these things, right? Is, is Jake Paul incapable of understanding how he's hurting people? Is he incapable of understanding what, how he might be affecting children in a negative way. Is he incapable of that because of this emotional detachment? And something that I'm thinking about doing a video on is like how Jake Paul might have changed because I never touched on a very good point that Jake used to be different. He seemed to be a lot more connected with his audience. I mentioned in one of my other videos about Jake Paul that when he sat down with uh, Gary Vaynerchuk on the podcast, like, Gary was telling him like you need to reconnect with people and that's a big problem with YouTubers and I like I think sociopath uh, tendencies can can eventually like happen just because of how detached people get. Like if you look at most YouTubers, like um, big YouTubers, uh, you'll see how detached from people they really, really are. Like because they're not, um, you know, interacting with the audience, they're not replying to comments, they're not going out to events, they're not connecting with you on that one-on-one -on -one level. So the bigger they get, the more detached they are. And if they're detached from the reality that most people like you and me are going through, yes, that can lead to emotional detachment. The next sign is compulsive lying. And this is another thing, so it weaves into that manipulation. Like they lie just constantly, constantly, constantly. So something that they brought up in here with the whole thing going on with Jake Paul's ex and everything like that. And like, um, also, you know, the allegations that FaZe Banks ass assaulted uh, Jake's assistant and all that kind of stuff like, when you combine manipulation and emotional attachment with lying, like, that's the thing. This is why, this is another reason why lie detectors, polygraph tests, are complete garbage, you know what I mean? When somebody is like that, when they're detached like that, and they manipulate, like, that's the normal for them. They compulsively lie, and it doesn't affect them. One of the reasons I know that is I used to be a compulsive liar. So number six is a reckless attitude, like, Need I say more? Like, look what he does for views and all these other things. Like, I don't even know how much risky stuff he did. Like, I heard about him, like, lighting a mattress on fire or whatever in his pool and the neighbors getting mad. But, like, all this other stuff, and it's like, oh, my God. Like, that 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 reckless behavior, like, I'm leaning more to, like, this dude might have an issue. And the last one is quick to anger. So, like I said, I'm not a huge, <laughs> I'm not any kind of Jake Paul fan. I don't think he's a good person. I don't like how he influences his children. But anyways, I've seen a few clips of how quick to anger he is, and it's been caught on camera. Like, it's been caught on camera how quick he can snap and, and his attitude changes. And a lot of that comes from these grandiose ideas of self, like the ego and the pride. Like when people don't treat you a way that you think you should be treated, you snap. You see what I mean? So like, <clears throat> I think, you know, what I wanna end this video with is talking about like, you know, if if Jake is a sociopath, um, I never talked about this, like what's keeping people around? What is keeping people there? And it's something that I keep talking about 
over and over and over again on my channel. Like I know most of you watching this are not YouTubers, but I just want you to keep this in your mind because people believe that if they can get this certain thing, right, whether it's subscribers or followers or money or you know the houses and the cars, if they think if they can get that, then they'll be happy. And the problem with that is, not only do we know that that doesn't always bring happiness, but the other one is, is that you lower your standards of like, and of who you are as a person, right? You, you change your moral compass. You're willing to put up with a lot more. So like you see these people go into Jake Paul's like inner circle of Team 10 and just get emotionally abused, physically abused, and they're doing it just so they can get this launching pad. And like, the thing is that we keep seeing time and time again, all the, not only are these people getting hurt, but you keep seeing celebrities who are stuck in their depression. You see celebrities like committing suicide and stuff. And it's like, for what? For what? And it's because of this false idea that success is going to bring happiness. Happiness will bring your success. So do not sacrifice your integrity or your morals in order to reach this thing that has no guarantee of happiness. Like I have a lot of firm beliefs, you know, when it comes to mental health, when it comes to addiction and things like that. And like my girlfriend and I talk about it because as I'm starting to grow and talking about doing collabs with other YouTubers on different subjects, you know, she reminds me too, like, don't change your opinions on these things just to like, you know, appease these other people. And absolutely, absolutely, because that's the kind of stuff that makes it so I can't sleep at night, all right? So like I, I, like I said, I have a whole note page filled with other ideas. If there's anything that you think I should talk about, especially in part one or any of the future parts, like make sure you leave them in the comments below. I put my Instagram up here again. Um, Twitter's the same handle, at The Rewired Soul. Tweet at me, but I will be covering this entire series and talking about mental health aspects of it, all right? So remember, if you start to see the signs of a sociopath in your life, set up some boundaries and cut ties with them, all right? But that's all I got for this video. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to grab some sweet Rewired Soul merch, I sound like Jake Paul, but <laughs> click or tap on that icon right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you.